All right, we're going to find a directional derivative here. So it's the directional derivative of uh, this function, which is the square root of x squared plus y squared, at the point 3, negative 4, and in the direction of the vector 3, negative 2. Um, so what we need to know, well, we need to know a lot of stuff. Um, but in particular, we need to know a directional derivative can be computed um, by doing the gradient um, dot product with a unit vector in the direction that we're interested in. Um, so the first thing we need to do is calculate the gradient. Um, so we have this function, and we know that uh, to find the gradient at the point x, y, it's going to be the partial derivative with respect to x, comma, the partial derivative with respect to y. So that's a vector for us. Um, so what I'm going to do now is calculate those and uh, try not to forget the chain rule. So it's going to be 1 half and then the quantity x squared plus y squared to the negative 1 half and then times 2x. So that's what I'm taking the derivative with respect to x. So y is considered a constant. And uh, now I'm going to repeat the process only uh, with respect to y. So it's largely the same thing in this case, kind of by symmetry. Um, so we get that. I'm actually going to clean this up a little bit to get this. And then, of course, uh, I want the gradient at the particular point. So I really want the gradient at 3, negative 4. So I'm just going to substitute that in and get those values. Um, all right, so the next thing that I need is the unit vector. So I'm given the original vector, which is 3, negative 2. And I'm going to find the magnitude of v, which is the square root of the first thing squared plus the second thing squared. So I get radical um, 13 in this case. And the unit vector is a vector divided by its magnitude. So the unit vector is given there. Uh, actually, finding the unit vector is probably the number one thing that my students do wrong when they're doing these problems. They just outright forget it. It's not that they get it wrong. Um, so the next thing we know is uh, our directional derivative. So it's going to be the dot product of the gradient vector that we found with the unit vector that we found. So the gradient was 3 fifths comma negative 4 fifths, and the unit vector is 3 over radical 13 comma negative 2 over radical 13, and then you just have to remember how to do a dot product. So it's going to be, uh, it's the sum of the product, I don't know, whatever. It's the uh, sum of the uh, products of corresponding components, I guess. Um, so we get 9 over 5 root 13, that's 3 fifths times 3 over root 13, and then uh, plus, and then negative 4 fifths times negative 2 over root 13, which gives us plus 8 over 5 root 13, for a grand total of 17 over 5 root 13. And uh, that's how you can calculate uh, the directional derivative. So I hope you found this example helpful. Good luck.